Hello, I'm Michael Firth, Marketing Manager for Home Audio Products, and today I'd like to introduce the TAS 5706, the industry's first closed-loop Class D digital input amplifier optimized for HDTVs and media docking stations. Now historically, analog input amplifiers have benefited from the performance advantages of closed-loop, and now with the release of the 5706, digital input amplifiers can now deliver the same performance level. Closed-loop architectures provide several advantages over open-loop architectures, with the two most important being better sound quality and higher power supply noise rejection. A closed-loop amplifier has a higher damping factor, which basically means the amplifier has greater, greater control over the speaker cone movement. Now this control enables the amp to produce a tighter, more accurate sound with improved bass response. In addition to the superior sound, closed-loop amplifiers also have much better power supplies noise rejection than open loop amplifiers. Now a higher PSRR means the noise from the power supply is actually kept out of the audio band. This helps reduce power supply performance requirements which in turn reduces system cost. Now the savings in systems cost is especially important in today's flat panel TV market where cost pressures are absolutely tremendous. The closed loop 5706 can actually operate off the existing plus 24 LCD backlight supply, which is in the TV, entirely eliminating the need for a dedicated audio rail and providing cost savings. Now I'd like to ask Ryan to highlight the PSRR advantages of the 5706. Hello, I am Ryan Kerr, New Product Definition Manager for TV Audio Products. Today I would like to demonstrate the benefits of TI's closed loop architecture with the TAS 5706. Here I have two EVMs. One is a TI's 5706 with a closed loop architecture. The other EVM is a similar configuration but an open loop device, both with the same amount of supply decoupling and both two layer boards. For the power supply, we will use a standard 12 volt switch mode power supply with one amp of rated current, an off the shelf component common in media docking stations. Let's go to the setup. Here is the TAS 5706 configured with a digital input and I'm capturing on the scope the supply voltage coming from the 12 volt regulator. As you can see with no load the supply is very clean. If I provide a 100 hertz sine wave to the input with a rated output power of 5 watts you can see from the scope capture that I have plus or minus 300 millivolts of ripple. This ripple will be rejected with the closed loop architecture, but can cause quite a bit of THD plus noise with the open loop architecture. Let's look at the graphs. In this graph, we have swept the output power from 100 milliwatts to 10 watts and captured the THD plus in performance of the TAS 5706 and a similar open loop device. The red line is the open loop device. The blue line is the TAS 5706. As you can see with the red line, the THD plus noise performance is greater than 1%. With the TAS 5706, we are less than 0.1% at 0.05% THD plus noise. This is a delta of nearly 2%. This graph clearly illustrates the audio performance benefit of the closed loop architecture with excellent power supply rejection. We have proved that superior audio performance can be achieved from a low-cost power supply. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Another advantage of closed-loop amplifiers is their superior EMC performance. EMC, or electromagnetic compatibility, is a critical requirement in the consumer electronic market, as all devices must pass EMC testing prior to being released. EMC is a system-level challenge, and the more margin you have with the audio amplifier, the easier it is to pass certification without requiring multiple board spins. With a closed loop amplifier slew rate control, the edge transitions can actually be slowed down and still maintain excellent THD plus noise performance. So let's take a look at some EMC test results. Now here's an EMC sweep of our TAS 5706 evaluation module versus a typical open loop part. And as in the previous THD plus noise results that Ryan showed, the two boards are basically identical so you're really just seeing the difference in EMC between a closed loop and an open loop amplifier. Besides its closed loop performance advantages, the TAS 5706 also has an on-chip digital audio processor. In this block diagram, you can see the programmable biquads used for speaker equalization and also the dedicated subwoofer channel which is used in 2.1 systems. 
The TAS 5706 supports stereo, quad, and 2.1 channel configurations along with providing a PWM headphone and subwoofer output. In closing, TI is very proud to be introducing the industry's first closed-loop Class D digital input amplifier. The superior sound, higher PSSR, and improved EMC makes closed-loop architectures very compelling. And I encourage you to visit www.ti.com forward slash TAS5706 to learn more about the 5706 and request an evaluation module.